Welcome back to Catworld Rimworld or Rimworld Catworld, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Now, we got a lot done in our previous episode, as you can see, and things are getting on very nicely. Yeti has his own bedroom. We've got a water system going in. We've got some heel roots and cotton growing there. The animals have got a new paddock and barn. We just need to get some hay going to floor out there. We've got electricery as well. So the next project we'll be doing in today's episode, oh, we finished researching plate armor, very nice, is we need a defense system. And I think we're gonna put it at this side. So that is our main focus in today's episode and we'll see what else we get up to. Dookly, the first thing I want to do is deconstruct all of this because we're not going to need it. And if we go to floors and remove floor as well, I think, is there any? No, I thought it was uh, concrete, but it's not. It's just plain old flooring. And then the next thing I'm going to do is map out by using the planning tool. Map out how we're going to do it. Okay, we have our first raid, the tribe. A group of Neanderthals from a tribe of Dul Durthan have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while and then attack. So where are they? Gonna have a look. See, there's one there. Oh, there's two. Okay. What are you like? Undergrounder, incapable of social. Nah. Fast walker, slow learner. Mm, nah. We don't need anybody just yet because we're still building things. So it looks like they're going to come in from that side. So why don't we go and get a preemptive attack on these? Get my guys out here. It says they're going to prepare for a while. I don't know where they're going though. They're just going to hang around in this area here. That's it. Get in, guys. Right now, I want Yeti to go over there. I want Snow to go over here. And I want Boots to go over here. Split up a little bit. But it looks like that one's running away. So, not Snow, Yeti. Yeti's okay. Binks, back up, dude. Back up. Oops. Press the wrong button. There we go. Right, come forward. All my guys come forward. Let's chase them off the map, guys. Chase them off the map. That's one down. And another one down in the trees. Nice job, guys. Get yourselves back home while I, I allow all this stuff. F. Ah, nice job, guys. There we go. They can get that whenever they want to get it. There's no major rush. And now, guys, you can go back and have a nice kip. Okay, we have a mad hare on the map. So I'm going to disallow my guys going outside the walls. And we do have some traps now. So hopefully that trap should catch him. It isn't quite finished yet. But it's a while since I checked on our zone issues. So the home area is there, which is fine. Did I do a safe? Home safe is in there. Uh, we can now change that. The, the whole did I expand it? Yes, I did. This is the entire of home safe now is in here. I like that. And we can get take it right up to the walls because if you don't, they won't be able to fix the walls if they get damaged. And clear out of the tunnels. That is not safe in there. Okay. So now what we do is we got into our guys and uh, I'm safe area. And same with sploosh and slice in there in the home. But we'll change it over now to home safe. And they shouldn't go outside the walls. And the mad hair, which I think is that one. Yeah might just catch himself on those spikes 
Yeah, they are wooden at the moment because we don't have any steel because we don't have a miner. And there he goes. <laughs> Done it. So we can let our guys um, back out now to uh, restricted. There we go. Salted. Yeah, um, like I said, they are wooden because we're very short of steel because we don't have a miner. So they will get plate replaced into steel once we've got some. Uh, I just allow that. Uh, we've got some sandbags with some spikes on. And we will be expanding this to make like a funnel system. You'll see when I get it done. But for now, we're just doing that. We're going to have a three wide path going the length. I need to change that to be this end. And uh, yeah, we're cracking along nicely. Let's see how much more we can get done. Okay, we have a little quest. Emily's Red Pandas. A 76-year-old forester named Emily is calling from the valley. She's a pack of four man-hunting red pandas are hunting her. She begs for safety and offers to join you at Cat Haven. If you accept Emily, the man-hunting red pandas will follow in one hour. Emily is too frantic to offer more information. Well, uh, she's old. Sorry. I'm getting that way myself, love. <laughs> but we are charitable people so what we could do is we could rescue her and then send her on her way i think that's what we'll do so yeah we are charitable so we'll we'll rescue then send her on her way so that means we have to restrict everybody to home safe and our animals to home they're still on home safe anyway so come on in emily man hunting a red pandas Come on, Snow. Get your bum in doors, love. Come on, Emily. You're nearly there, love. Get in. Right. Where are the red pandas? Where are they? Now we do have defensive position, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort that out right now. So Snow's defensive position is going to be there. And we'll set that one. And um, Binks can go to that side. Oh, we've missed out a thing there. Uh, save and Yeti. Uh, you can go to this one, dude. And we'll save that one there. So every time now that we draft and send them to defensive positions, they will go. Let us fix that while we're here. What I didn't do was probably uh, auto rearm. Uh, not sure why they're not coming out. So what we'll do is we've got Yeti to poke his nose out. They should be able to see them. I don't want to go too far. They're just kind of hanging around there. Right, get back, Yeti. Get back, mate. Pretty defensive position. There you go. We've attracted one in. There we go. So where's, why aren't the rest of them coming in? Are they going to come around now? This could be an issue. pandas right you guys can come off draft uh we can allow these halt urgently and emily i'm sorry my lovely but you will not have no fur and uh yes yeah, so uh what we need to do is see you later there's the door take care now bye emily Okay, so what's happened with that is Colony Spanish has given us a minus three, which isn't too bad. But what I have noticed is we do have Recreation Unfilled on Binks and on Snow. Oh, and uh, yeah, minus ten on there. What happened to the uh, pole and everything I put in, I wonder? Oh, this camera. I'm going to have to take this camera mod off, guys, because it's uh, 
there we go <laughs> it's causing me a few issues we did have like a um, never mind we'll we'll organize something better than we've got a horseshoe pin kind of out here for now uh poker table we're going to need cloth for a billiards table we need cloth we can put a chess table in somewhere how about we go and pop that in uh yeti's bedroom with a couple of little stools we've got plenty of wood so that should help for now with the recreation and also we've moved the anima tree up here so if they wanted to we could add a little bit of meditation maybe there and that might help a little bit with the wreck as well hopefully we'll see how that goes remember waltz the guy we let stay with us for a little while eight days ago you helped him in desperate circumstances oh since then he has gotten back on his feet and now he wants to reward you properly for your help he is sending you the following via drop pod a monosword wowzer right out there look at that these are pretty good so what we need to do is work out i know our guys are shooters but what about yeti melee of one melee of zero melee of zero uh we're just gonna bring it in for now and uh we might get a kitty cat who's good at melee and then that is a lovely a lovely sword uh let's look at the info on that one Usable shields, yes. Melee damage per second, a 13.29. Melee armor penetration, 91%. It's a bloody good sword. Look at the market value. It's very, very nice. Minus three. <laughs> Minus three on beauty. Well, I think it's a beautiful sword. I have decided to make this little area here a, a wood storage of such instead of it we've got a little bathroom there so yeti can come out of there and go to that bathroom it's not a problem but we have so much wood on the map just dotted around everywhere and this one palette is absolutely full so we're going to move that one straight over uh, into here like so and then we're going to build a copy into there the next thing i'm going to do just in case we do get a visitor who is artistic is we are going to build an out bench and we're going to build it out of wood and um, we're going to put that in here with a stool but just in case we do get an artistic visitor then they can come and make some arty stuff uh we still need to get a visitor who can mine because don't forget yeti and the boys have zero mining skills that is the one thing that is holding us back from a lot of things but we are cracking along nicely the next step so what i'm going to do is um next to this path here we're going to build like a little prison area in case there's anybody who wants to keep prisoners we're going to reallocate our gardens as well and then we're going to think about other storage areas and also new bedrooms for the boys binks and snow and then a new air a visitor area as well because the bathrooms need updating we've got silly little retreats and bathtubs and now we've got water we can get some sewage plumbing in and we should be good to go We have a feral child that has wandered onto the map. Now he's age four. And so far he's got a little bit in social and melee. But what we can do with children, guys, is we can train them up to the best of our abilities. And then Snow or Binks can inject them with their um, genes and turn them into a kitty cat. So because it's a wild one we have to uh, tame him so let's hope we can do it in other news he's right down the bloody edge of the map isn't he in other news we have extended our let me just turn that off a second we have extended the animal pen 
out a little bit more so we can get some more hair grass grow, uh, growing because this was getting eaten before it had a chance to turn into hair and also the animals needed a little bit more space as well we have now growing in here corn rice potatoes and wheat uh we still have our heel root and cotton over there we've put in a few more paths a few more little gates here and there some of the animals did escape but we've got them back and that's as far as we've got for now but we are cracking on we've got all the wood moved uh, the steel is getting moved down here as well so we're going to have two pallets of wood and three of steel when we can get some but yeah it's uh, coming along nicely i think we might be due another raid soon though Mm. we have an exotic goods trader i'm just sending out binks to uh, see what he's got come on then let's see have you got anything interesting for us sir with your lovely wizardy hat um we don't have a lot of silver we only have 194 but we could sell some animals if we needed to but i'd rather keep those for emergency for food uh components Ooh, yes. Medicine, plasteel, gene packs, books. Oh, interesting. Some gold there. Oh, that's not a lot really, is it? A cockerel. We could get rid of a cockerel. That's going to give us a little bit more. <laughs> um, pack a pack of pig sow sow, pig male. You want that one? Pig two. Big two and a cow a bull male 14 i really want to keep hold of that uh that's not giving us a lot but we could buy a book a book maybe recreation game multiplayer 160 see a book is going to help with rare matthew's journal 251 that's a good book let's get a book <laughs> it will help us and we do have a book curse i think is that a book curse that's a wooden clothing rack i do apologize we don't have a book curse we'll have to get a book case built for our books so furniture let's just build a little a little book case in here for now next to our uh, research table yeah that wasn't a bad buy we need to make some more money and our second raid a group of imps from the league of zack have arrived nearby the prepare for a while and attack then so let's go and see where they are is that three of them the thing is with imps is that they are going to uh buy a spew on us but we are lucky in the fact that we have a grump a grump we have a grump we have a group of traders out here <laughs> oh my god we have a grump <laughs> so let's get our, all our guys the animals still should be in home safe so let's make sure that our guys don't go out there and here they come they're going to come down this way are they going to come all the way around to the traders it looks like they are they're going to get caught up with the traders that's good news for us guys absolutely brilliant news for us and that's them downed good job traders thank you sir thank you very much there is a lovely bolt action rifle here so i'm gonna get um our yeti to grab that but first of all we need to get him into the unrestricted area we should get out of bed and come and grab that he's only using a little pistol at the moment so a rifle will be better and if we get that to haul urgently then they'll take that home oh well that was interesting we got a, a little nice haul there 
We are running out of storage, guys. I really need to be doing something with that. Um, let's just uh, expand a little bit for now. And then I think our next job on the next episode is to make a big storage room with lots of nice shelves. Uh, it's always something to do. And now Cow One has given birth as well. My goodness me. We're cracking on, aren't we? <laughs> okay guys what we're gonna do is leave it here for today i hope you've enjoyed the episode i'm sorry it was a little bit later than i said it would be but i'm gonna endeavor to record another one straight after this one and get it out on time for you so thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one take care guys bye for now